All right, Book of Jubilees, Book of Jubilees, Chapter 10, Verse 2. The sons of Noah came to Noah, their father, and told him concerning the demons which were leading astray, blinding and slaying the sons' sons. So, the grand, great, uh, the grandsons and great grandsons. All right. I have a problem here. There we go. Couldn't click Genesis. Now I can. All right. So Genesis, Genesis 10, Noah. Make it big. It was, says Noach. Noach. So yeah, it's name Noah. Is, uh, is nonsense. It's Noach. Like Turok. All right, so leading astray. Now we could we could really do a lot of, on this one, okay? From celebrity, because to be led astray, someone has to lead you astray. Now, when we compare this to our time. It's hard to watch anything that influences you and, and not sit, uh, question, well, what would I do in that situation or where would I be in that situation? When we look at this and we think as a group, where are we in this situation? It's, it's, the, it's repeated. The sons of men in modern time are led astray. The sons of men are blinded. Not only blinded, they are deaf. They can hear clearly, they can see clearly. But by being led astray, what they should stray away from, they are drawn to. When the book says, this is what you look for, they're now blinded for that, by that. They cannot see, who oh, this is no good for my heart, my soul, my well-being. And it always ends with death. Everybody has a chance to correct their life until you die. Once you die, there's no correcting. They made a whole goofy TV show about this. The guy that goes back and try makes a list. This is everybody that I've effed over in my life. I gotta go back and correct all this stuff. So, and he prayed before the Ishi, his Elohim, the Aloha, and said, "All right, so." Let's get this Lord God stuff out of the way so everybody understands. Now, here's the word Lord. Let's click on it. 3068. 3068. It says Jehovah. And now look. Let's read it first and then look at these numbers. Self-existing or eternal. The Judean national. No, that's not true. When they put this word here, that has nothing to do with us. That has to do with the first children that are saying they are us. That's their national name for Elohim. We'll get to that in a second. Now, to say is from H1961. We're all familiar, we all should be familiar with H1961. What does that say? Hey, Yod, Hey. That's what those symbols are right there. Here it say, Hey, -a. Here it say, Ha, Ya. Comparative, compared to 1933, which is 
ha ya to breathe to exist okay so it says let's read it to exist people don't believe that that there goes the uh the non-believer right there is no god right all this stuff just happened to exist that is be or become come to pass always empathetic and not a mere copula or auxiliary beacon altogether be accomplished uh excuse me come be excuse me be come accomplished committed like break cause come to pass that's that's prophecy right continue faint do excuse me continue do faint fall follow happen have last pertain quit self require use 3500 times so again this is why we call this name we don't use this silent h at the end so and why because when we go into the strongest strongs concordance it says h a y a that's all it says when we go to other books and other stuff it gives you this e uh e hey uh uh ash yeah and that that that's just that, that that goes right back to everywhere you went you blaspheme my name what is asher um, Asura or Asher or Syria. I mean, come on, like uh, that's adding other names to the most high, the name the most high gave us. So the word Lord goes to Haya. So go back. It says you can compare it to what? Compare it to, look at this. You can compare it to Yah. Contracted for Yehovah. Which compared to 3050, which brings us to a full circle. So who's adding these names that all go back to Haya, but all this other stuff? See right here in names, I-A-H, it has to, that's, that's just the end of Haya, Yah. Look, from Yehovah from Heya. Look at that. Did something back in the background. From 1961. Where, where did, why did it take me to that? Why is it? Yeah, why didn't look up come up there? Back to Heya. So, As one would say, some someone's giving us the runaround, trying to hide the Most High's name under all these other names, as in Yahweh and Jehovah. So, let us look at this word God. H430 Elohim and it tells you right here it's plural of H433. So what does this mean first? Elohim means gods. It's the plural. So this means many. So in terms of here's the most high, and the most high actually calls his creation sons. 
His first creation and his angels. So they are the sons of what we, we've been taught to call God, the creator. Let's just say the creator. So the Elohim are the sons of the creator. What is H433? In its Eloah. What does that mean? That's the second form is rare, probably prolonged empathetically from 410, a deity or the deity God, CH430. Well, then to take H430 is where we came from. So, again, this goes back to L, but there are many L's. Anyway, here we have Yisrael. Right? So, Ale, which is the Eloah, is the Almighty. This is what Abraham was calling the most the, the, the creator, the most high. Almighty. So understand somebody did all these circles. Your name is James, your name is Bob, your name is Doug. Why would anybody call you all the Doug is short? There's no what are they gonna call you D? How do you go from Heia to Yahweh or Yehovah? That's not some shortened version of it. That's completely mislead you. It doesn't matter. Well, in the past, this group or sect or even the whole of the Israelites called them this. I don't think that's true. That I, A, H still make the same sound as Heia. There you go. I, uh, what does A, H make? Ah. Uh, what if you put an I in front of it? I, ah. Uh, we don't even know if each of these names with I, A, H at the end of it is what they were called in Hebrew. We're just saying shit in English. So, now that we have who the Lord is God is, we already know this is the same personality, persona, that in the Bible, the Old Testament, is said to be the Most High. So, that's who the Lord is, his God. Now again, imagine, if we was reading in Hebrew, this would be Jehovah Elohim. See how that shit don't make sense? Under the idea of a strategy to lead people astray, oh, it's brilliant because what do we have in reality? We have 10 different groups claiming the most high's name is all these different things. Now, if you like your plate, your dinner plate with everything sectioned off. Vegetable one here, vegetable two here. An entree, something like that. 
Or do you want it just stirred all together dry, but looking like soup, actually looking like scraps that everybody poured on a plate? That is what we're dealing with. Scraps that everybody poured on a plate because it leads to what? Confusion. I don't like you because you call the Most High a false name. Isn't this what each of them would turn to each other and say? We all believe in the Most High, but we can't agree with each other because you use Jehovah, you use Yahweh, you use some crazy shit. You believe he's got a son, but he's got many sons. And not one of them sons came from a vagina. In fact, those sons were cursed for their children. Their son, sons coming from vagina. But Jesus is the son of the most high, but he was born through Mary, so he ain't the son of the most high. Nope. That's blasphemy. The Elohim of spirit of the spirits of all flesh, or would that be the Eloha? Eloha. Aloe, aloe vera, uh, the, the, imagine this, the most high title is the same as what? What keeps the flesh soft and juicy? Is is what the same as his title? We call it lotion, the liquid from the aloe plant. Now, when we see when we sit here and look at this, he is the master of all spirits. See, when you master something, you call yourself a god in it. This is this is what we do, right? So, to master something is to become a god. And he learned everything about all the plants and he became what? A god. Not the god. Not even meaning he's an Elohim. He's not an El. And he's not the Ale. But this is just how men talk. Who has shown mercy unto me and has saved me and my sons from the waters of the flood and has not caused me to perish as thou didst the sons of perdition now who died in the in the flood since the flood is right here perish means to die and then who would be the sons of perdition for thy grace has been great towards me and great has been thy mercy to my soul. Let thy grace be lifted upon my sons, and let not wicked spirits rule over them. You see the whole goal here? The spirits want to rule flesh. That's what all the leading astray, the gifts, the lavishness, the mansions. That's the you, the blinding. You talk to somebody, but their heart is fond. Hey Amen. Rihanna, a witch. Hey Amen. Shut up, man. Umbrella, man. But bro, she's singing to a, a demon, an unclean spirit. Umbrella is his. Don't want to hear it. Blinded by the what? Blinded by the light. Wrapped up in a. Shh. Was a douche. The tool is needed by an unclean woman. Right? That's what, that's what the song. What does the Most High say? All their rock and roll has to do with the Bible. You. Are blinded 
by culture. You won't listen to what any of this stuff says. You won't even listen to what rap says. Think about this. They don't come out and show you Diddy is a sodomite. They don't come out and show you everybody as part of his label has been basically pretty much recorded. Doing sodomy. They didn't show you the connection of him to the Kardashians. You know the Kardashians' connection to OJ. They don't. OJ passed away. They're making jokes. Oh, one of the one of the daughters is OJ. You can see this evil. Right? Vincent never lets it go. Tupac in the bathtub with all the gold on him, like like the the, the feminine pose. World be free, whatever his name is, world that used to be with Little Kim. Saturday told you 50 Cent and Ja Rule arguing over a tranny. All the rap is sodomy, is made by sodomites. You get in the club, you gotta practice sodomy. These people act, they come on camera and, and act like, oh, well, they do this to all the other people. Mm hmm. Right, but not you, everybody else. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, 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 they clone Tyrone, right? This motherfucker telling you, uh, I went to one of Diddy's parties. It was, it was, it was, it was so much. I told him I could do this for two, two hundred thousand dollars. So he threw the parties next. So, you're part of it. You ain't gonna be the fucking host of the party and not get down with the get down. I don't know, man. All these people seem to be covered by the grave. They had the trial with the, what was with his name? Uh, so, 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 all the rap is made by Sodomite. They yeah, yeah, had the, 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 the trial with uh with Johnny Depp, right? And then in the trial, I ain't watch none of that but one video. I watched one video. It just happened to be at the time they said that the girl was caught on the eleva elevator with Musk, and then she was part of the Musk sex parties. And then everybody's like, "Shh, we love Elon Musk, so don't say that, right?" So all these groups are doing the exact same thing to everybody that's in there. Click. Come on, man. So again, no, our people aren't led astray. Not at all. They're not led astray. All the people in rock music got the damn tight ass spandex like they the goddamn uh, uh, long, long, long ass, blown out, crazy hair like they on a uh, 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 seventies animation, going in space and shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, put on, put on Aerosmith. You know how many goddamn songs Aerosmith got got about uh, she 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 men, she men. Uh, 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 uh. Sweet emotion, that shit about a dude. Sell it to me, Lex Wheel. I ain't gotta sell you shit. Listen to this. Sweet emotion. The fuck does that mean? We talk about things that nobody cares. Wearing out things that nobody wears. <clears throat> what they what they call those dudes that go to these uh clubs dressed in these weird ass uh women's clothes that, that nobody would wear? That, that women themselves don't wear. That's what he's talking about right there. You're calling my name, but I got to make it clear. I I can't say, baby, I'll be there in a year. You, you get what is that saying? If they have a sexual relationship, he, he can't be with you like you are a woman. He can't be there like we're going to get married. I won't, can't say I'll be here, right? 
some sweat hog mama with a face like a gent? Uh, that's a dude. Said my got up and go, must have got up and went. That's a, that's that's phallus talk. That that's that's penis talk. My get up and go. Got up and. Went. Well, good news. She's a real good liar. It's a dude pretending to be a girl. Yeah, yeah. Because the backstage boogie sets your pants on fire. You're a fucking dude. Every time you've seen cartoons and someone's pants are on fire, it's either the leg all the way down by the floor where your foot is, it, or your butt. He just said he got pegged, didn't he? You have been trained by the music to break every law. The veils go down, the music goes down to hell with you. There's only one song. No, there's a few. <laughs> oh my! That's that, that, that Jodeci song. And I thank God. I pray for someone like you. That's the only, that's one of the only songs that's just only about God. Because all, almost all the music that's in the actual field of what you call spirituality Shout out the, the idol. This Eddie Murphy's favorite song. This LL Cool J's favorite song. Look, don't, don't, did anybody analyzing Biggie Small's music and he got some strange lines? He got some strange video dudes dressed like women? In the videos. So remember, this is the God, the the God of all flesh. I don't even want to use the term God. God of the spirits of all flesh. Fish, the crocodile, the tiger, the bear. The angels. The fallen. So when the character is lifted up and brought to heaven in clouds and given authority and domination, what does it say? That's in the Old Testament. What does it say in the New Testament? I have received the keys to death and hell. So then that comes to a couple questions. First off, why in Christianity are they hiding the sons of the angels? Remember, Jesus is the son of God. The sons of God are angels. The sons of God that are angels were cursed. The watchers were cursed for sleeping with women. The story of Jesus is he came from a woman. See, that, that would mean the story of Jesus is the good demon, the good Nephilim, right? That's these movies when the bad guy turned good. Teach the wicked to turn away. But see, we don't understand. 
He was given the authority of death and hell. You can't walk away from death and hell. There is traps set in this book to mislead all men of all nations. This ain't like he in this by accident. In the book of Job, when the Israelites have already fallen, the world is given to the hands of the wicked. You can't come from a vagina and say, since birth, I, I've been associated with heaven. That's ridiculous. The Most High said, man is to live once. The Most High said, this being was brought up to heaven. That's, that's, what, that's what Jesus say himself brought to heaven in clouds given authority that authority only goes so far this angel is over the pit these angels uh, uh, open uh, uh, you know keys to open uh, seals they open the seals and this son of an angel that lived and died and lived again is given the keys to death and hell. Well, why? I had to talk to this about my neighbor. He believed in Jesus until I showed him these things that we study. I can't look at people and do this. I have to look away from them. There is a savageness in me that, that, that I can't tolerate brainwashing so I discussed it with him he claims he understood everything and, and, and it was an interesting uh, talk he tried to hit me with well the sins of my father are not mine I said hold on I'll be right back I, I literally just Jogged home, pran I pranced home, grabbed his Bible, ran it back like a football, took him to uh, uh, Ten Commandments, and what did it say? Huh? Uh, I curse, uh, the, the, the father breaks the law, I curse the third and fourth generation. I explained to him, I'm the, the fifth generation since slavery. Because my ancestors counted it and wrote it in an, an obituary. He said his parents came to, uh, his grandparents or some, some came to Ellis Island. And they all suffered different consumption things. Not what they call consumption, what I'm calling consumption is they died of things they consumed. Drugs, alcohol. Now he lives and he's very uncomfortable with anyone even smoking near him. I find it interesting because to me it seems like whatever curse they were going through because he, he, he literally brought it out he didn't call it a curse but it was pretty evident whatever curse they were going through it seems to have ended with him maybe or the great grandfather or great great grandfather did something to an extent that this would to be it because again from his description the family history is this way so all right so for thy grace has been great towards me and great has been thy mercy towards my soul let thy grace be lifted up upon my sons and let not wicked spirits rule over them so again we can see what's happening. The wicked is ruling. They've done their bargains with the evil spirits so that they can what, build homages to the evil spirits and music to the evil spirits and things like that. Right? 
So who rules over Will Smith? What fall, what fallen or what false god does he put in his music, right? And na 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 na, right? So come on, man. Um, that's that's what his jiggy with it is. Now, see, we can see what she is pushing the, the that fallen entity or spirit of darkness, whatever the hell she is with her. Uh, she is wickedness. Clearly, these prophets would have named her and not just called it her. So, and there's actually a song. I found that there's actually a song that idolizes her and it idolizes what we whom we just learned, Arch Taurus. Now, when you look at it from a perspective, we'll get to it, because she, she is Venus, right? But who else worships Venus? You know, if we go over to uh, Justin Timberlake's video and watch Justin Timberlake's video, he's gonna have a sign above the car salesmanship and it's going to say Venus and a phone number. They're very open about it. And what these celebrities are, they are influencers. They influence you to buy product, worship other things, practice things that are not good for your soul or for other people, other men, other women. Lest they should destroy them from the earth. The whole goal of the wicked is to destroy us. They, they don't want to be buddies. They don't want to be friends. They don't want to have a, we're going to be dominant and you're going to be subject to us. The end of it all is to destroy us. Why? Because in the physical, you're stronger than them. Once, if they are from hell, once you die and you're not in the physical and you're in the spirit, they already rule over you in the spirit. This is the whole goal, to get you out of your flesh suit faster. If you're out of your flesh suit faster, then there's no coming back. You got no repentance. What difference does it make once you're in hell, you repenting? What is that going to do? You're already gone. Your flesh and your spirit and your soul are no longer united. But thou bless me and my sons that we may increase. And fucking riches aren't shit. We're in a society that has twisted reality, twisted the reality of people in that society with a thick hand to reach out and affect other societies. There's nothing wrong with the earth. It's beings, personalities, personas, however you want to view it, flesh. and spirit. That's what's wrong with the earth. To be blessed is to what? Procreate. See how in sodomy the goal is to not reproduce. See how Sodomites can't be blessed. Not in the order of righteousness. They can be blessed in wickedness. And what does that mean? More shit. More dumb. More stuff. More stuff make you a target for the unrighteous. When you go to rob poor people, what do you get? The same nothing that they had in their pockets. When you go rob broke people, what do you get? 
pocket link. When you rob the rich, and I'm not promoting robbery. I'm promoting don't be blinded by having a bunch of useless shit. Because then that makes you a target. I have a trust. And to make my trust official, I must make it public. And I'm putting in my trust that nobody can take from me my diamond necklace, my diamond ring, my fucking 400 pounds of jewelry. And then you have to make that public for it to be realized that nobody can lawfully take that from you through the courts. But that also tells any burglar that reads the fucking newspaper or the law newspaper what you're holding. We live in an odd society. Very odd. That uh, Vincent's telling me about uh, narco, I think it's narco or something like that. Two drug dealers are talking. One says, hey, I'm retiring. He says, why? He says, uh, I think God just gives us this money for us to fight over and kill each other. If you don't have anything anybody wants, as long as they're just not a, I just want to take life, then what bother will they be to you? Only smart criminals take normal people's car. Not because they think they're reliable, because they think they'll blend in and not get caught. What do car thieves keep taking? And if they're on the run, they take anything that's available. If they're looking to chop up a car, they look for expensive. Turns out the more expensive you look, the more people want what's in your pockets. Being blessed from this perspective, increase, multiply, replenish the earth. Why does it say replenish? I told you, there's seven days of creation. Every huh, day is like a thousand years. So it's a thousand years of light and dark beings, or a thousand years of water beings. You're not paying attention. It sounds too exotic. But it says what it says. And in the sixth day, the, let us make them in our image. That's first creation. Is first creation the sons of perdition? They didn't have a judgment day, did they? They just all got flooded. The... the the flesh was corrupt, which meant the soul was corrupt to sit there and corrupt the flesh. Are they the sons of perdition? Because the goal is to what? Destroy the earth. Get the most high to what? Provoke the most high to destroy the earth. Not one angel is powerful enough to destroy the earth. All they're powerful enough to do is control each other and force themselves upon us for what? Domination. Rule of the top. But they're beings of darkness. They can't even enjoy the fucking sunlight. That's not what it's about. They're of the sun's of the Most High. The Most High said, I have a plan. Stick to my plan. They rejected the plan. Now we, to them, to them, we are toys. We are fucking toys to the Most High. In their opinion. And what do they want to do? They want to break his toys. Because they watched him. Flood it all before. So if they can get us to break ourselves and influence 
ourselves to break ourselves. And the Nephilim destroy the Nephilim, fought the Nephilim, or ate the Nephilim, and the Nephil, the Eljo, and the Eljo, mankind, and mankind, man, and man, man. is to lead us into a survival of the fittest. But it's not. It's the survival of the most wicked. That's all it is. Their goal is to destroy us all. Even the ones that have been blessed by the demons shall be destroyed by the demons. Every horror movie where somebody calls forth this shit, they always take the one to call forth too. Every sorcerer movie where the sorcerer want more power, don't he get taken by the shit at the end? Each person that unlocks Pandora's box, Pandora always gets them in the end. So all think about the movie Blade. And in Blade 2, you had people that helped the vampires capture other humans. That's, that's the equivalent of this. That's the equivalent of this. The goal is to increase and multiply. Why? Because the Earth is an ancient being that was destroyed. It's dead. That's why all these microbes just float the fuck around. It's a perfect environment for all this. Grass, trees, minerals. This is why we have winter and rain seasons. When there's no water, dust just seems to lift up like it's the earth is disintegrating. The wind blows the dirt to a different area where it's wet. And water rolls that dirt right back to where it came from. It is unique environment. All these holes in the earth are fucking vascular systems. This is why the water runs through the earth carrying the minerals to keep the earth replenished. In, in, in mythology, they tell you it's a fucking dragon. It's Tiamat. I don't, I don't think it's Leviathan. I think that's like a, a smaller child of this shit. Because this thing is dead. It's dead. So we have summer, winter, and fall, and all, all these season changes is to simulate a refrigerator. To keep it from spoiling. The dead uh, going back into the earth releases minerals. The spirit going to hell and being burned in the lava and then carried through the, the, the lava to, to different areas of the earth. And then the lava comes out and then it solidifies and then you get fresh land, fresh mineralized land. Earthquake comes, breaks it up, you know, and then shifts into salts in, in, in water areas. This is all a unique pattern. Someone had to think of this. Each day a thousand years? Well, I would think so. If you it's listen, nothing is beyond beyond the most high. So it's all by thought. It's all trial and error. That's why it's a big giant clock and it's perfected. He had, he had all the time that he could create to perfect all this. All these different environments that we all exist in, or thrive, or dominate over. Now, we've gone and started messing with so much shit, and it's all to destroy the earth, 
if the earth is what if these environments are corrupt then there will be no food growth for what man or beast well then how would people eat each other dumbass it's survival of the wickedest do you not comprehend that but once you go cannibal, you start to clock, and you only got so much time to live after that. Or you go scruples, because you release a parasite in yourself that what? It must be in our own blood. Because what? Told you, don't eat the blood. No, why do cursed beings eat blood? Because they thrive on that parasite. That's how they exist longer. This is what they keep showing us without saying. Then you'd have to say, well, what's in the blood that holds the parasite that they thrive on? Man, he just told us. He is the what? The God of the spirits of all flesh. So imagine, if there's a man in flesh, there's a man in the spirit. There's a fucking tiger in the flesh. There's a tiger in the spirit. If there's a parasite in the flesh, there's a parasite in the spirit. We're not thinking on a level that makes sense to this book. We own one chapter, people. You could preach 10 years off of what's here. He's recounting the flood. Bible's not real, God. Help me. So, and thou knowest how thy watchers, the father of these spirits, acted in my day. And as for these spirits which are living, imprisoned them. Hey. Now, we can see what the shades are. Now, we, right, you can see what the shades are. Now we can see what Abaddon is, the angel of the bottomless pit. Where was he imprisoned? He was imprisoned in the bottomless pit. What would be the purpose of the keys to the bottomless pit? To unlock the seal on Abaddon at the moment of command and hold them fast in the place of condemnation. The Christians are hiding everything to do with the fallen sons of, see these ain't Christians, these are Gog and Magog. There ain't no other point. Hey computer that they built, what is the place of condemnation? And they don't want to tell you. What do we mean? Eh? Why? Shouldn't it just say hell every fucking site? It should say hell. Hey, computer. A place of condemnation, it's hell. Okay, so now we get Ganea. So now it's hell is a Christian word. So it's right. So we need to write Sheol. And, and that's that's the place of condemnation. Right? So hell and hell fire. Right? So, why are all the Gog and Magogites wearing the death tattoos? Why are all the Me Gog and Magogites, I mean Christians, are they hiding the sons of the angels that fell? So we won't show. Okay. No, I don't want it in the Bible. I want, all right. Sheol, you await judgment. See, again, when is judgment day? Oh, 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 the great day. So you can't be judged before that. So when the Gog and Magog guy come on and he say, I got a story to tell you. The story is I died and I went and, uh, I went to heaven and, and, the, and the Most High told me that uh, I was serving the blah, 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 blah. And he tells you that uh, this many people die per hour from all the, he's lying. 
because he's telling you that somebody got judged in front of him. The only person that seemed to be telling the truth about Judgment Day was the dude with the afro that said, I saw Judgment Day. And everybody was lined up to be judged. Aunt Jenny died and she went to heaven. Nobody goes to heaven. They go to a place of waiting. These people told you it's called purgatory. Then they lied and said you either go heaven, hell, or purgatory. None of these books say that. Even their idol was brought before the Most High. Nobody gets closer than 50 feet. Even the angels tell you that in the books. 50 cubits. He was brought before the Most High. He was given authority. He was sent back. Where was the authority? Reach in your pocket and grab your keys. Your keys are your authority. Those of you in an apartment and you have separate locks to your rooms, you, you, you have roommates, you already understand this. You have keys to your room, they have keys to their room, and you have a key to the common areas. That's domination. Why did they kick the man out of the house? Why did they play the food stamp game, right? Why did they play non-American, not America? with us to, to, to break to break the household. The same thing that's going on right here. Let not women rule over them should they destroy the household. This isn't an attack on women, it's unnatural. That's why they wanted the man out of the house. Now, the woman has to either depend on the government who is working to usher in the fallen, or the woman has to do what? She has to work and be out of the home, and then there's nobody there to guide the child, and this child starts doing wicked shit. Divide, conquer, success. That's what it's all about. So they imprison in a place of condemnation. Let them not bring destruction on the sons of thy servant, my Eloha. For these are malignant and created in order to destroy. That's it. They're not, they're not made for good. And what are malignant? We know what they are. They're tumors. They're parasites. Even the shadow people are parasites. They're just in a different form. So, let them not rule over the spirits of the living. And for thou alone canst exercise domination over them let them not have power over the sons of, of righteousness from hence and forevermore. He, he, so what? There is a contract. There is the contract between Noach, the forefather, all of us, of all of us, and the Most High. This means if you walk in righteousness they have what does this say no power over you this is why they want to control the wicked because then they can get the wicked man to attack you and you might be strong against the wicked man but when the wicked men build up and righteousness does not mean what 
what the sons of Gog and Magog tell you. It does not mean do the laws of God, but do do it through the idol. It does not mean do the laws of God, but the idol is king. It does not mean that is not righteous. That's blasphemy. That is wickedness. That is corruption. That is misleading. I just watched these people make a video about Gideon when Gideon fights the Medes, who are Caucasians. And they had Gideon as a Caucasian, and they had the Medes as black people. They just totally turned the image of the story around. This is what they are doing. Okay? So, and the Ishi our Elohim bade us to bind all. Well, what does that even mean? Right? He bade. Bade is utter. Command or order someone to do something. He ordered us. That means he ordered the righteous. Now, listen very close. Descendants of Israel. Israel. Listen very close. Descendants of Judeans. This is between Noach and the Most High. This is not we're a special bloodline and we're here to bind all the demons no that is all sons of noah that walk in righteousness of the most high have the power remember this dude is the the, the idol that they worship is what he holds the key to death and hell so of course if you say his name to them they got to go back to their master what did he say? The man was full of demons, and he said to Jesus, can I go into the pigs? And he said, yeah. And then the pigs went in the water and drowned. But the water mean multitude. And today, if you go and get you some pork, you guaranteed to have parasite eggs in it. That's why your great grandmama, your grandmama, and your mama, they all used to put clove on the outside because clove kills the eggs of this shit. Herbs, man. Herbs. And that's some shit they call they call cannabosum herb, don't they? And they don't want you to have the herb. Well, they haven't wanted you to have the herb. They just they just federally allowed you to have herb now, right? So he commands us to do that. And what do they do? They make this into fucking, what? What? That's them following righteousness, right? And what are they fighting? Demons and idols. It'd be some shit if one day idols came to life, it wouldn't it? Why, like, why would they sit there and... Tara, you are the the great artificer of these idols, right? And Abraham saying they don't move. But it seems at that point where Tara kept the idols is his home, which is like a warehouse. Because we see what they're going to do. They're going to take the idol somewhere and they're going to do things to it to make it move. Whether they make it with animatronics or whether they use witchcraft to put spirits we can see right now we turn on some shit they got dolls possessed dolls that'll move with nobody around all kinds of shit we got statues that bleed whether it's by a button or by spirit infection we see this shit today 
We just see that Terah didn't have that at his house. He just built the shit. So, again, this is what they dangle in front of us. Ghostbusters all the time. So, when you start thinking about it, what is this shit? He run around, and they're what? In the flesh. And he go get the big dot that looked like a, a ball of light. And when he got the ball of light, when he got the ball of light, something about him changes, and he's able to eat them. And then he eats them. And they go to a container, a containment vessel. Ain't that it right there, the ghost trap? People think I'm fucking crazy, right? And then after time, they're allowed out. To do what? Chase the only thing on the screen. Pack man. So the ghost come out to chase the man until the man get the light pellet. And then the man chase the ghost. And if he captures him, he binds them in a container. Where the fuck? Where have I heard this story before? Hmm. So, what are these idols? Hmm? They're talking, in this, they're talking about them non-stop. And we just we don't want to respect it. But it's okay. We we going we going we we'll get there. So we're at it, the idioms, right? <clears throat> so we have the power to bind them all. All right. So we did two through seven. Let me write that down so I know what I'm writing down. Two through seven. So it means we'll start with eight at the next one and uh, the chief of the spirits, right? So, and then we'll probably get the Bob Dylan, right? I made a deal with the chief. This world and next, what is the next world? It's hell, right? Sheol. Sheol is the place where we wait, and hell, which is next to that, is the place of condemnation, and below that would be the what? The bottomless pit. So, may most high bless you how he sees fit may you walk in righteousness think contemplate on what you are learning i know some people believe they already knew all this stuff you might have could you form it into a sentence before this I know some people might be shocked at some of these things and they wouldn't say that in their own mind they tie together like this. But of course, when you put it like that, I see it, I see it. Every Freemason, your mom, your dad, your grandpa, your great grandma, whoever it was, they're all wicked. Teach the wicked to return to the Most High. Try to be closer to the mentality of the Most High. Yeah. Ironic coming from me. Cool, calm, slow to anger. 
try to talk things out. Yeah, I'm shitty at saying bye and all that shit. But we'll get with the rest uh, in a little bit. Life force. Hey, hey, hey.